Hello everyone, it's Matt, and tonight I want to show you my 14 inch Targus unofficial messenger bag, which I got for about 30 bucks at a retailer of your choice. Anyways, I found this to be an exceptional value for, its, for what it does. Uh, I use it primarily to hold my MacBook Pro while it's in the apartment. Um, as I said before, I use a laptop sleeve and a backpack when I uh, take the laptop outside, so I don't carry a backpack and a laptop bag. Because I don't like carrying luggage. Um, anyways, so this is a messenger style bag. So it has a gigantic flap and an equally gigantic uh, shoulder strap. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the exterior of this is a nylon material, which is water resistant and uh, will shed most of the elements. It's not waterproof. Um, it's just nylon. There's a little badge down here that says Targus and a little green accent. This is the green accent version. So they have blue and red and some other stuff, but this is the, this is the green one. Um, moving down to the back, we have a folio exterior pocket, which will hold most magazines. Here's most magazines. There you go. And it goes. And with plenty of room to spare. All right. And going to the side, we have the shoulder strap. Now the shoulder strap is not user replaceable um, and it does not come on a swivel. Uh, this is a value item, so it doesn't have a lot of uh, bells and whistles, so you can get it all twisted up and so forth. So you gotta play the unravel game sometimes when you get the shoulder strap uh, all spun up. Uh, on this side, you have the adjuster area and a D-ring. And then you have this little D-ring down here, which I guess you can snap on accessories and keys and whatnot. And it has a little green accent also. Ooh. All right, so moving, on, moving over to the front of the bag, you lift the giant flap, which is secured by two magnets, which are in these little green, uh, whoops, sorry, that's the flashlight. These little green pads right here will hold the closing mechanism magnets. So when you lay your front flap down, it locks into place and prevents it from moving around and keeps it nice and flat, which is a really nice look for a messenger bag when it's nice and flat rather than wrinkled and, and disheveled. So I go ahead and open the flap, and first thing you see is a long zippered, what you think is one single pocket, but in reality it is actually two pockets, and they're fairly deep on each side. They're each the same size, so it will hold a MacBook Pro power supply. Like that, there you go. Um, it does leave a bulge since it's an exterior pocket, so I don't particularly want to store anything large in those pockets. Uh, you can put you know, accessories, earphones, whatever else you want in the outside, in those pockets. Um, let me see if I can get a shot down there to see how deep it is. Eh, there you go. All right, moving forward, we have the uh, organizing folio area for the interior front section of the bag. And there you go. Try to shine a light in there. Um, there we go. So in the back area you have a space for your documents and magazines. So there you go, fits in like that. And in the front area is your organization section for uh, cell phones, pens, business cards, and so forth. And in the front area you cannot see are two additional pockets, which is where I actually store uh, the power supply and an extra cable. So those slide into these two pockets which are on the reverse side of the front pockets. Uh, they're about the same size, and that way it has a nice flat appearance to it, rather than bulging out on the exterior pockets. So that looks and a little more protection. So I like to keep my cables in that in that configuration. But there's plenty of room to throw, you know, your doodads and and whatnot in here. So plenty plenty of space to make a mess. All right. Moving back to the actual uh, laptop compartment, it's pretty deep. It is lined with a foam material which has holes in it supposedly to dissipate both body heat and also heat from the actual device. Uh, it's fairly soft and here is my MacBook Pro 13 with a spec see-through case on it uh, and it slides right on in there. There's no catching, uh, no dragging, no any, any type of stuff. Um, it does wiggle back and forth a little bit. This is a 14 inch bag. This is a 13 inch laptop with a laptop case on it. So there's a little wiggle, but not a whole lot. This bag also comes in 16 inch for those 15 inch folks. So bear that in mind, but it fits in there pretty nice. And um, there's a nice lip on there. So you won't have a whole lot of problems with getting sand and other de debris, which might come in from just sitting on the top of the bag. So there you go. See, it lays 
pretty much closed like that. So to secure it, you have zippers with nice big pulls on them. The line pulls right here. And you, they give you two, one on each side. So if you're a center type of zipper guy, you can do that. Or if you're a one way, you can do that. Same with the front compartment, it also has two zippers. So you can meet in the middle, or you can go all the way over to the side. Now remember, these are zippers. These are not waterproof. Uh, they are sort of water resistant, but um, zippers are, should always be handled with caution when it comes to the elements. Uh, that's why you have this little flap, which comes over and gives you a little more protection. So um, I would say I would feel safe with this outside of any light to medium uh, duration rain event. Uh, snow, maybe a little bit longer since snow isn't as permeable as rain. Um, but beyond that, you will want uh, to seek shelter with your laptop bag. Pardon me, your laptop messenger bag. Um, once you have a laptop in it, it's about that thick, so it's not too bad. Remember, there's a power supply in here and a cable and a magazine and a laptop. So it's not looking too, uh, too beefy at the moment. Right, so there's this side. And then on the bottom, um, you don't have actual feet. You have little wear areas, which have a... Uh, plastic type of material over the bottom corners to prevent excessive wear and fraying and so forth over a period of time but uh, there's no plastic feed on the bottom um, and definitely I probably wouldn't sit this down in a puddle uh, because it would probably uh, leak through and get inside whatever uh, is inside the bag but anyways for 30 bucks I think it's a heck of a deal uh, it does what it's supposed to do it keeps the laptop organized and out of the way when not in use and I'm sure it'll work well outside if you want to use it in that manner. Um, I've never ridden my bicycle wearing my laptop in a messenger bag, but you're more than welcome to try. Uh, anyways, uh, this is Matt. This is the Targus unofficial, for some reason it's called, that's, the, that's its official name, the Targus unofficial 14-inch messenger bag. Thank you very much for watching, and please have a good day.